the question is why is adsorption always exothermic so you should know what is the meaning of this word at exothermic exothermic refers to the reaction in which the heat is released okay exothermic reaction is also defined as uh, when the enthalpy of the reaction which is denoted uh, by delta h is less than zero so i will write down write it down for you in uh, exothermic reaction is a reaction in which enthalpy of reaction which is denoted by de uh, delta h is less than zero which means it is negative moving on to the answer of this question adsorption is always exothermic because during adsorption the residual forces of the surface always decrease as a result there is a decrease in surface energy which emits as a heat so what does this point means first of all you should know that uh, in adsor uh, what is adsorption adsorption is basically in which uh, molecules or substances get adsorbed on the surface of the adsorbent okay they get adsorbed only on the surface okay so it means that as the reaction continues the more number of uh, surface area of the adsorbent gets occupied by the adsorbent so it results in decrease in surface energy which emits as a heat okay now the second point delta h of adsorption is always negative as i have said here okay the freedom of movement of adsorbate which are the gas molecules becomes restricted when the adsorbent adsorbs the adsorbate what does it mean basically the gas molecules are adsorbates and they get adsorbed on the adsorbent when they get adsorbed obviously the gas is restricted from moving further because it has been adsorbed on the surface so there has been freedom of movement has been reduced and you can also say has becomes restricted now as a result the entropy decreases delta s becomes negative okay delta s becomes negative because entropy basically is defined as the freedom of movement okay so during adsorption as the gas molecules uh, gets adsorbed their freedom of movement gets restricted therefore delta s becomes negative for the process to be spontaneous delta h should be negative this is very uh, common for you and you should know why it should be negative for any reaction to be spontaneous delta g has to be negative and delta g uh, is defined as and uh, it has a formula of delta h minus g delta s where delta h is the, is the enthalpy of uh, reaction t is the temperature and delta s is the change in entropy since delta s is negative as i have said before delta h has to be negative so that delta g is negative hence adsorption is always exothermic so you can see here delta s is negative i have explained why now delta h has to be negative why so as you can see uh, uh, delta g has to be less than 0 now this means delta h minus t delta s has to be less than 0 now uh, adding t delta s on both sides delta h has to be less than t delta s okay now as you can see t is obviously greater than 0 because it is taken in kelvin and or um, uh, t equal to 0 is not defined uh, practically okay so t is always greater than 0 and delta s as we have defined is negative so delta h is less than is um, this part is negative so delta h has to be less than 0 so this implies that that adsorption is exothermic as delta h becomes less than 0